reply. Thought I'd send you this uh, quick video here, just uh, a little bit from today. Uh, just really for your purposes, this one, um, just to sort of point out a couple of bits. We'll have a look at it tomorrow and review it. But um, put a line just in front of Rod Pampling's uh, hands here, um, <coughs> just to show you something in a second or two. Also dropped a line down from his rear end, which you can see is a little bit close to his heels. So he looks as if he's a little bit more up and over. So uh, pressure more into the balls of the feet. You look here as if you're still a little bit on the bar still, sitting a little bit back, weight favouring uh, the heels. Okay, so we just need to really just prop you a little bit more up and over it, um, and you'll get this, you know, sort of slightly different look with your arms. So it looks more like that. You will still look just a little bit too kind of straight looking like this okay so but it's getting a lot better that particular bit right okay so i'll take this couple of lines away here and just to get you having a look at this one Oops, sorry I'll take that one out as well right okay so as we start back you'll see the way rod pamplin here moves the club away and this is the bit we were talking about really today and i think this is a big factor with you if you just look at the way that even just going to about there, if you watch your left arm, you can see a little bit of your left forearm at this particular point. Right? You can really see the way at this point here, you can really see it going out over this line here and getting to the other side of it. Right? So, this big gap here has, in, uh, has appeared between your arms. And you'll see that. Rod Pampling sort of is not quite so wide there, but really the club, most importantly really, the club is a little bit more in front of him. It's there. He always is always getting a little bit more behind you. This was a normal speed disc, so I can't quite see the, uh, uh, the actual club. So at that point there, it's really in behind you. Whereas this is going up the way through his forearm a little bit more. Top. Okay. And yours actually arrives in a reasonable position here. Okay. So that's not too bad actually where you are there really, because you've gone from being very, you know, sort of flat with your left arm, and looking like it only goes to about here almost. So it's pretty good really. You can see this is this uh, line I was trying to show you through your shoulder, and this is the one with your left arm just slightly above that plane. All right. So let's get all rid of all those lines there. Okay, and then he comes down, drops it into the slot. You can see where it's approaching from. Back on the forearm again here. Right, you see at that point there, this is something we're working on later on in the lesson today. There's your club there, whereas really I'd still like to see it where his is. Right back and that's keeping that angle of the right wrist. And you come in there, comes back into impact. Alright. Now you'll see actually here, just as he hits the ball, you know, his right arm's back into this position where he was kind of at address. He was back to where you were at address there, but still feel that he's got just a little bit more over it. You could have almost stood up a little bit here, but I think the most important thing really is, looking at all this, is this is the bit I think we need to really fix up, is get your posture better, because we had a better look in than this, but I'm sorry, but this is the only one I really wanted to really show you, because you slip back into this one, uh, but we'll check it out tomorrow again. The most important thing is that we want to just try and get this bit here sorted there with your arms, look at the way your hands go, and this is this why, why you get this kind of rolling effect of your arms there, and gets the club in behind you, okay, well, and he's got himself there, it's just staying out like that, okay, so let's have a little look at that tomorrow, because um, at that point there with yours, you probably see this club face is just a little bit closed, on the way back and it's in behind you still and it's mainly because of the way that this left arm is working away from you right? 
it's a long, you know, it's a long way out here. You've lost any pressure underneath your left armpit here, which he's still tight on with his left arm. Okay, I'll do for now. We'll speak to you soon.